Hi, I'm Lauren, and in this video I'll be looking at disability discrimination. The Equality Act 2010 protects you from being discriminated against, harassed or victimised on the basis of a protected characteristic. There are nine protected characteristics set out in the Equality Act, and disability is one of these. Videos covering each of the other protected characteristics can be found elsewhere in this video series. You will have the protected characteristic of disability if you fall within the specific definition contained within the Act. The Act defines a disability as a physical or mental impairment that has a substantial long-term adverse effect on your ability to carry out normal day-to-day -day activities. So there are four main elements to this definition that I will look at in a bit more detail. Firstly, you must suffer from a physical or mental impairment. This includes sensory impairments such as those affecting sight or hearing. There's no need to establish a medically diagnosed cause for the impairment. What is important is the effect, not the cause. Secondly, the impairment must have a substantial effect. This means more than minor or trivial. Even if you're receiving treatment which lessens the symptoms or even gets rid of them entirely, you may still be considered to have a disability if, without that treatment, you would struggle to carry out day-to-day -day activities. Thirdly, the impairment must be long-term. To be long-term under the Act, it must last for at least 12 months. So things that wouldn't be considered long-term might include the loss of mobility due to a broken limb or a temporary infection. Fourthly, the impairment must have an impact on your ability to carry out day-to-day -day activities. There's no defined list of what might be considered a day-to-day -day activity, but these will generally include things like washing and dressing, preparing and eating food, household tasks, walking, using public transport or going to work. In most circumstances, you'll still be protected from discrimination even if you have since recovered. Special rules apply to those with progressive conditions such as arthritis, dementia or motor neuron disease. If the future effects of the illness are likely to be substantial, then these conditions will be treated as a disability from the moment your day-to-day -day activities start to become affected. Some conditions are automatically treated as a disability for the purpose of the Act, such as HIV, cancer and multiple cirrhosis. On the other hand, certain conditions are expressly excluded from the definition, including substance addiction, hay fever, a tendency to set fires, to steal or to physically or sexually abuse others. Disability discrimination occurs where you're treated badly because of a disability. Even if the behaviour is unintentional, then this may still be unlawful. Discrimination can include direct and indirect discrimination, discrimination arising from a disability, failure to make reasonable adjustments, harassment and victimisation. These types of discrimination are explored in more detail elsewhere in the video series. Thank you for watching.